things you didn't know about Baron Trump. Most of the Trump children have become well known to the public over the years, but Barron remains the family outlier. The 11-year-old son of the president first captivated the eyes of the world late on election night when he stood behind his father on the stage while victory was accepted. Barron, of course, looked more sleepy than Jubal and on stage, which inadvertently won over the cold hearts of an America that was mostly happy the election cycle was finally over. Who is this young Simba-like figure? It's time we get familiar with America's new boy prince, Barrett Trump. He's the only child of Donald and Melania. One thing about the incoming first family to take note of is that it has a little bit more sprawl than the last one, going to Donald Trump's multiple children by three wives. Barrett Trump, the youngest of the clan, is but one branch of a family tree that includes Ivanka, Eric, and Donald Jr. Born to Donald's first wife, Ivana Trump, and daughter Tiffany, born to Donald's second wife, Martha Maples. As for Barron, he's the only child of Donald and Melania Knauss Trump, and was born on March 28, 2006. Until recently, he lived with his mom in their Trump Tower penthouse on Fifth Avenue in New York City, while Dad moved into the White House after assuming his new role as POTUS. Donald and Melania were married about a year prior to Barron's birth, in January 2005, his delayed move to the White House was because of school. As of this writing, Barron and his mother have officially joined President Trump in residence at the White House. But the reason they stayed behind wasn't because of the lack of gold plating in the West Wing. It was so Barron could finish out his year at the prestigious and very expensive Columbia Grammar and Preparatory School, where he attended through the end of the school year reassuring him that he'd be able to finish out his year at the school that Us Weekly reports has a price tag of around $45,000 per year, Barron's mom told him, take it day by day, enjoy your life, live your meaningful life as I'd like to do. We're not sure the then 10-year-old Barron was able to process such a life-changing move through the lens of that fortune cookie wisdom, but he did get to finish the year with his friends and classmates. Although things at the school definitely changed after November 8, 2016. Parents at Barrett's school had a post-election freakout. Anyone who has so much tried to walk near Trump Tower will tell you that Donald Trump's presidential victory has created major headaches for the city of New York. Apparently, though, few people were more worried than the parents at Columbia Grammar and Preparatory School. Some parents are freaking out and worked up about security and what the school is going to do, a board member told Vanity Fair. Some are worried about safety concerns. Others are reportedly annoyed about various inconveniences like, you know, the time the school's sole elevator was blocked off for millennia for an open house event in 2016. The school even had a real-life scare scenario in March of 2017 when a lockdown procedure was put into place after a suspicious vehicle was spotted outside the building. According to the New York Daily News, the military-style bag in a beat-up blue and silver pickup truck with an Indiana license plate was reported to police as a suspicious package, triggering the bomb squad response and the school's reactionary security procedure. It's a frightening scenario for any school, but one that carries additional weight when the president's son happens to be enrolled there. He's the first boy to live in the White House in decades. Now that Barron's actually made it to Washington, he has officially become the first boy to grace the halls of the White House in almost 60 years. Yet, the last time America had a first boy was all the way back in 1961, when John F. Kennedy's son, JFK Jr., moved into the White House when he was just a baby, according to CNN. And Barrett made his entrance to the presidential residence in true Trump fashion, exiting the green one and strolling across the White House lawn to his new digs while wearing a shirt emblazoned with the words the expert. And here we thought Uncle Jared was the boy wonder of the family. He's not into wearing sweatpants. As one might expect from someone born into a billion-dollar business family, little Baron has been dressing for success pretty much his entire life. He even wore a suit to the launch of his half-sister Ivan book when he was only three and a half years old, according to People magazine. He's not a sweatpants child, Melania said while discussing her son with ABC News in 2013. He doesn't mind putting on a suit but not every day, and he likes to dress up in a tight sometimes like daddy. But that's not to say that Barrett doesn't like a little comfort. In fact, 
He sometimes pairs his prep school uniform with customized New Balance sneakers that reportedly cost $149, according to Footwear News. Yep, you read that right. The Trumps pay $149 for Barrett sneakers and something called Footwear News actually exists in reality. He used to moisturize his skin with caviar. If you needed further proof that Barrett isn't your typical 10-year-old, try this one on for size. In 2013, his mother admitted to ABC News that, at the time, she applied her own line of caviar-infused moisturizer to his skin after he took his his nightly bath. It smells very, very fresh, Melania said of her caviar complex C6 skin care line. I put it on him from head to toe. He likes it. Unfortunately for the two of them, this tradition may have been short-lived, according to Rat. Melania's skin care line fell apart shortly after its high-profile launch. He takes after his father. Given that he loves to wear suits and moisturize his skin with caviar, it should surprise exactly no one that Melania often refers to her only son as Little Donald and Minnie Donald. He is a very strong-minded, very special, smart boy, Melania told Parenting. He is independent and opinionated and knows exactly what he wants. Sometimes I call him Little Donald. He is a mixture of us in looks, but his personality is why I call him Little Donald. When he was five years old, he wanted to be like Daddy, a businessman and golfer, she added later in the interview. He loves to build something and tear it down and build something else. He is very detailed at drawing. We travel often and he remembers everything he sees. Sometimes later the same day or the next he would build something like he saw or imagine something himself. In a 2013 interview with ABC News, Melania again referred to Barrett as Minnie Donald, which if we're being honest, has to sting a little for Barrett's older half-brother, the actual Donald Jr. He may or may not have a nanny. In a September 2015 interview with People magazine, Donald and Melania insisted they did not use a nanny to help raise Barrett. I like to be hands-on, Melania told the magazine. I think it's very important. Barrett is nine years old. He needs somebody as a parent there, so I am with him all the time. As you know my husband is traveling all the time. Days after the interview was published, Donald, in true form, told the New York Post that there was, in fact, a young woman who works with Barron. Still, to this day, reports describe Melania as being really devoted to her son. The source told the Post in November 2016 that Melania is often seen picking up Barron from school. That same source also claimed that Melania had not relied on nannies to help raise her kid. So, who knows what the heck is going on? Donald didn't change his diapers. In that same interview with Parenting, Melania said of her husband, he didn't change diapers and I am completely fine with that. It is not important to me. It's all about what works for you. It's very important to know the person you're with. And we know our roles. I didn't want him to change the diapers or put Barrett to bed. I love every minute of it. But that's not to say that Donald wasn't a doting dad in his own way. Melania also said that he and Barrett love to play golf, eat dinner together and enjoy family time at Marche Lago, the family's Florida getaway. Golf and dinner. Huh? Sounds a bit more like the closing of a business deal than a loving father's Sunday. He's fluent in two languages. Although he reportedly takes after his father, Barron has also inherited his mother's roots as well. According to a 2016 interview with GQ magazine, Melania revealed that Barron speaks Slovenian fluently. In fact, he speaks the language with his grandparents, who live near Trump Tower. According to the interview, Melania also once bragged to people in 2009 that at just three years old, Barron was also speaking French in addition to Slovenian and English. But two years later, during an appearance on the Joy Beer show, Melania said, Barrett speaks two languages completely perfect. He goes from one thing to another, Slovenian slash English. What happened to French? Was he just not fluent enough to mention it yet? Does Barrett from phone number eight? These are questions of national importance that need an answer. He lives like a king. In her interview with Parenting. Melania also dropped the bombshell news that Barron's digs at Trump Tower are so sweet, he actually has an entire floor to himself, complete with his own personal flourishes that include the incorporation of planes and helicopters into the decor of the rest of the house. Not only that, 
but it was no big deal if he wanted to draw all over the walls, because we can paint it over, she said. With that kind of setup, it's no wonder that they weren't in a rush to move him into the White House. And though he's not getting his own wing of the executive residence, his lifestyle isn't exactly getting downgraded. According to Inquisitor, the White House has a staff of 100 people who will know what every member of the Trump family likes, as far as food, snacks, and personal items. This will be stopped and waiting for the family so they can obtain it at a moment's notice. Rumors even swirled that Barron's getting a gold doodle puppy, named Patton, to go along with his new home, so at least if he gets homesick, he'll have a new buddy around to cheer him up. He'll probably stay out of the spotlight. With his official appearances thus far limited to the Inauguration Day festivities and the White House Easter egg roll, it remains to be seen how involved with public life Barrett will be. But if history is an indicator, young children of past presidents have mostly steered clear of the public eye. And it seems like Melania intends to uphold that tradition as well. In an October 2016 interview with ABC News, Melania said she is hoping to shield him from the public as best she can. I teach him. I explained to him so he knows what's going on, she said. And he's he's taking very well. I keep him balanced and just have him a childhood as normal as possible. And he's enjoying his school and his sports. He's a great athlete. And I just want to have him out of the spotlight for now. Even though they've since moved to Washington, her stance on wanting her son to have as normal a life as possible probably hasn't changed. He will attend Street. Andrews Hippiscopal School. Just weeks ahead of Melania and Barron's move to Washington, the First Lady released a statement regarding the family's choice for Barron's matriculation in the fall of 2017. He's headed to Street. Andrews Episcopal School in Potomac, MD, which according to the Washington Post will cost approximately $40,000 per year. In addition to the school's prestigious reputation, it boasts that 100% of its graduates go on to some type of higher education, Street. Andrews has a range of impressive facilities, including a 14,000-volume, two-story library with an audiovisual classroom and a periodical reading room, a multipurpose theater-slash-assembly-slash-lunch space that features a stage and light-slash-sound booth, two visual arts studios with ceramics wheels and kilt, the darkroom, two full-size basketball courts, the fitness room, the dance studio, and two full turf fields for softball, baseball, lacrosse and soccer. Nice. Barron will be the first child of a sitting president to attend Street. Andrews, though the school does claim other famous alumni, like eBay founder Pierre Omidyard. Maybe if Barron plays his cards right, he might end up rich like that guy someday.